I'm Zachary Fowler and this is my old truck. Believe it or not, after winning half a million dollars two years ago on History is Alone Show Season 3, this is what I bought for myself. I didn't know what I wanted for a vehicle, so I didn't want to spend money on something I was going to beat up driving up into the woods while we still lived out there before we had bought the new house. And so I bought an old truck for a thousand bucks and spent like another thousand over the last two years keeping this thing running, having to put some Bondo and rivets into her. But today we're upgrading. Last year when I went up to Canada with the Wooded Beardsman for season four of the Wilderness Living Challenge, I didn't want to take this with me. The ex-wife was nice enough to lend me her Subaru. Back up, you're gonna hit the tree. Watch it. When you're determined to go fishing and your ex-wife's car won't make it up into the bushes. <laughs> we made it. So ever since that adventure in Canada with the Wooded Beardsman, I was thinking Subaru, Subaru. And I saw a couple uh, Subarus at the grocery store. They all had Bath Subaru on the little stickers on the back. I contacted Bath Subaru and they said, have we got a Subaru for you? There's a Subaru that's orange, an orange Subaru Crosstrek. Let's go get it. out there is that it that's one the one right there yeah all right let's go check it out she's awesome it's the perfect color for you man. that's my color right there orange all right so there's only one thing i gotta know yep is it unlocked it's unlocked all right if can i sleep in it can i sleep in it if i'm on the one man adventures i need to be able to sleep in it is there a room oh yeah look at that a little modification with a little bit of deckings for my pillow I'll be good to go. Maybe even hang the hammock in here. All right, where do I sign my life away? All right, you're gonna sign right down here. All right. And that's it, man. I had to stop and look at the newest of new ones. Mine's a 2013, pretty sweet, but take a look at this. This is this year's. It's got the. Mine doesn't come with this. It's got orange stitching on the seats. That's nice. And on the dash. Next time, when we upgrade in five years. There's the old truck keys. They're all yours. Got it, I got the rust bucket. Yeah. He can have the old truck. I got my new cross track. Whew. This is the nicest thing I have ever owned. Probably the newest vehicle by about 15 years. I mean, for the longest time, I only ever spent $500 on a truck and it lasts for a year. One time I spent 3,000 on a truck, saved up for so long. And then that spent, I end up spending like a couple thousand every year to keep it inspected. And then it lasted for like three years. It's like, it cost me more than all my $500 trucks put together just to keep that thing on the road. Mm. Nobody took the free chair yet. All right, home sweet home. Time to go order some stuff. All right. How's it going? Good. More goodies for the car. All right. Time to add it to the pile. <laughs> Let's get a peek at these rims. There's a little cellophane on top of that. Get the full majesty of it. Ooh, that's satisfying. There we go. Oh. All this is coming together last minute. LP provided all of uh, this gear, like really fast for me, just so we could put this all together. And uh, it's all gonna gotta go on the car so we can do our seven day main wilderness living challenge. I'm Zachary Fowler. And I'm the Wooded Beardsman. And this is the Wilderness Living Challenge, Maine. Yeah! Woo!
The point of the challenge is to gain or maintain our body weight while eating nothing but wild foods for seven days. Last time we did it in Canada, this time he's come down to join me in the coastal state of Maine. That'll be posted after this video about the build of the car. Let's see what we got in these boxes. All right, so I've done a few things to it already. As you could see, I put this seat protector here in the back of the car for the kids. And then I put these on the backs of the seats. I highly recommend something like that. And this seat protector, I mean, it doesn't make it look as attractive, but man, look all the crumbs. I just vacuumed it recently, so it looked good on video, but man, there was some pretzel bits and stuff like that in here. And I don't even let them eat in here, but they smuggle stuff in their pockets when they get in the car. Kids, I, I, I like turn around and like, why, how, how where, where'd the pretzels come from? Oh, I, you know, last month I put them in my pocket, dad. Okay, all right. Well, now I have a seat protector. You don't have to worry about that. I think that's essential. All right, got a few things for the front seat. These pockets on the sides here. Oh, don't need the temp plates anymore. Thank you very much, Bath Subaru, for setting me up with this. The, uh, these are seat pockets. Stuff falls down in there, or you want to put a little bit of paperwork in there. These magnets for your phone. You put it right on your dash. You stick a little plate on the back of your phone. Your phone goes right there, bounces around up and down woods trails. Phone stays there. It's ready to go. You can have your GPS on for trips. Turn it sideways for watching Fowler's Makery Mischief on YouTube. And of course, most important, phone charger. Anchor phone charger. I love these. A really good solid unit. One thing I don't necessarily like about the Subarus is that they don't, they don't charge when the car is off. So I'm probably gonna add another outlet somewhere where I can just flip a switch and be able to plug into it when the car is off. This came out of my truck. I use this every so often, but when you need it, you need it. I'll just keep that right in the center console as a must-have essential. This is just a, uh, what they call it, gas mask bag. I mean, I've had this for a long time, but don't leave home without it. A nice pump, and for that plugs into your cigarette outlet, so you can pump your tires up if you get a little flat. Oh, there's the new seat covers. That's, I'm taking those seat protectors off the back and going with a full on seat cover. I liked my seats, I didn't want to do this, but. Well, it's not completely horrifyingly ugly. I feel like my grandmother putting plastic on the couch so we don't spill stuff on it and you never get to use it. When you peel the plastic off, it's like brand new underneath and what was the point? And now the couch is ruined, the springs are ruined, it's worthless. And the whole time, nobody got to enjoy it because they had to sit on plastic. But hey, the backs of the seats will be safe from their dirty little feet. My girls are four and seven, and they can put their little, little surprise dolls in there. They're completely waterproof, and they don't sound quite so bad as uh, plastic on grandma's couch, so I'm happy with that. Off to the mechanic, get this baby put together, start putting all this stuff onto here. Here we are at Just Right Auto, just down the road from my house. Yeah. 
She is up on the lift. Found out that we got the right trailer hitch. It's always good to find out you got one thing right. I got the wrong light bar, so there won't be a light bar on top. Excuse my chewing on a cough. The lift kit won't be here till sometime today. We don't know when. Nothing like working under the gun. Let's try to finish the project so we can go do our seven day adventure. <laughs> As we have an accident out here. Far more aggressive, but they're not that much of a different in size. Which I guess is very important considering they have to fit inside the same wheel well because we're not modding that out. And we just have to remove, uh, I think like one mud flappy thing here. And on the front, there's a little guard here that's got to come off. You have my baby in your hands. Take good care of her. I want to see progress. Lots of progress. Lots of progress. <laughs> All right, we're going to head out. We're going to leave this in the capable hands of our mechanics here at Just Right. And we're going to go see if we can get some bait for our lobster traps so we're ready when we head out on our challenge. Well, I guess we're not going fishing just yet. All the other parts show up with the car. Let's toss those in. We'll take them over to the mechanic. You need a hand with that? Here, let me. Uh, 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 there we go. Uh. Good, good. Lift with your knees, guys. Lift with your knees. I'll be playing with these in the pool later this year. Some swim floaties. Yeah. Now I can run into all kinds of stuff. Look at that. <laughs> all right, so it appears to all be here. We got the lift kit, spacers, front spacers, back spacers, extended bolts, more protective plating for underneath the car so we can drag grounder up on top of stuff all the time. So we're gonna leave these in the mechanics capable hands, like I said a couple hours ago before all the parts showed up and we had to bring those over and go get ourselves some bait for our lobster trap. If you want to see this little side adventure, check out Catch and Cook Alewife. Links in the description below. That's our episode zero of the Wilderness Living Challenge I keep mentioning. But for now, let's get back to the build. Now it's time to get over to Eric the designer. See what he's got worked up for the designs to go on it. And start getting some stickers on this bad boy. And then it'll be time for all the lift kits and all that stuff be able to move the journey might be too hard on her unless you little audio book for the road custody. here we go oh man look at that Brought to you in part by LP Ed. I can't say it. <laughs> How do you say it? What is it? It's LP Aventure. Aventure. <laughs> Adventure in French. LP. Dollars Makery and Mischief on YouTube. And the uh, woo! Look at that. In the, the matches. Nice. Wow. Oh, bath Subaru for hooking us up with the beautiful orange cost track. This is so exciting! I can't wait to get over there and finish the car up.
gonna take that off right there. Just want that wheel off? We'll get that yeah, wheel off. We don't want that wheel off. We already just put it on. Okay, all right, we'll leave it on. I'm ready for action though. You just, yeah, all right. Let's go. <laughs> Almost there, just a little wiring for the lights and an alignment. We're ready for adventure. Yeehaw. So about the bill, because you're famous, it's gonna cost twice as much. Right, well normally what we do is we triple everything, but today we're just gonna double it for you because you're special and you're a friend and we go to church. We love uh, you. Yeah. yeah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. There you go, it's all set. Nice. What'd you think of the lift kit and stuff? No, I thought it was a really good kit. Um, they did a real good job manufacturing it. It's all bolt on. It's something definitely anybody can do in their yard. Uh, you know, basic hand tools and some knowledge. You know, it's pretty easy to put on, and uh, all those all those plates lined right up and everything. All the plates are good. Uh, we, you know, we did your both lower front plates, and then the differential skid plate and everything, and it's all it's all easy. Everything lines up. There's really no cutting or drilling or anything. It's all basic stuff, so it's pretty easy to do. We did it basically in an afternoon. Their whole complete kit, so it goes nice. It goes good down the road. Nice. I, I dropped all these parts off. Like they came in from LP. Special thanks to them for all these parts, the rims, the lift kit, the bumper, all the plates for underneath to protect the car as we head out on adventures. And uh, and they had them done within like six hours up with the lift kit, everything on there, everything lined right up, like he's saying. Definitely a uh, an awesome company. Check them out, link below. Yeehaw, time for some adventuring. Thank you very much, Just Right Auto. If you guys are in the Union Warren area, just right auto does a beautiful job alignments all done yesterday when I took it over the sticker place it felt a little weird like like it was uh, and I think that was the alignment thing but now that the alignment is done it is really really smooth it, it doesn't feel like I have bigger tires with super aggressive tread on them on there it feels it feels nice I feel a little higher up I'm only two inches higher up but I can actually feel it and I don't hear a lot of hum from the tires. I was expecting to hear more hum. Maybe somewhere a little more quiet on the highway. If anything, I feel like I hear just the teeniest bit of humming from the roof rack. Like a little bit of a We'll see how it is down the highway. But I am very, very happy so far. There. Let's see if how much weight does it hold. It's just 400, 500 pounds. 500 pounds, huh? It's a little long. Feels weird when the car sinks down. Snap! That's 500. There you go, Chris, so you can join us. You can, <laughs> you can ride back here, we'll just bungee you down. <laughs> You're like, oh. actually, you can almost sleep in this. If you put a mattress on here, let's see. Oh, that's nice, that works easily.
Once again, an extra special thanks to LP Adventure and Bath Subaru for making this build possible. Check out the link in the description below for both of them, as well as all the stuff you saw me use in this build that I purchased on Amazon. And tune in next week for the Wilderness Living Challenge main. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Fowler out.